Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of What Covent Garden. Happy weekend, it is Sunday and we are excited to do my fake away for your takeaway. We're celebrating all the restaurants opening again and this dish is from On The Bab. We've ordered a takeaway from On The Bab. It's a spicy Korean noodle soup. Chris, as always, perfectly on time. On the Bab, based is a restaurant in Covent Garden, just around the corner from us, and they've got this spicy chicken noodle soup, which they're currently doing takeaways for. And look at that, that looks absolutely delicious. I mean, for a takeaway, brilliant. And that looks like a thick rice vermicelli to me. Let's have a little taster. Mmm. That's really lovely. I'll try and get some of the soup. Beautiful colour. And it looks spicy, like really hot, but it's not. It's got a sweet spiciness to it. This is actually really simple to make. That is delicious. I'm going to show you my easy home cook recipe now. I'm going to try and keep this recipe as simple as possible. And so I've got your gochujang, the spicy chilli paste, some light soy sauce and sesame oil. Those three Ingredients I'll use in the soup, but I'll also use for stir frying my chicken. The only thing I'm going to add to the chicken is some of this Korean chili powder here, just to add a little bit of spice and a little bit of kick, which had on the on the bab version had there. Nori, that's the seaweed, the dry seaweed. That's just to garnish the top of the soup at the end with some spring onion. Any good soup noodle dish starts with the stock. And we always have our own fresh chicken stock at the school. Our chicken stock, loads of chicken bones, then you want to put some ginger, some garlic, star anise, cinnamon, the base whole spices of five spice, so even things like bay leaf or fennel seeds work well too. Allow that chicken to boil away for a good three to four hours on a really low simmer. Skim it off as you have time. That's what we've started with and from here, the rest is really easy. I'm going to bring your chicken stock to simmer and I've got about a tablespoon of gochujang which I'm just going to put straight into the soup and that will immediately give that nice red colour to the soup. Let that gochujang melt into it. As I say, it's got that chilli powder. It's got a real sweetness to it. I quite like, I liken it to like a spicy, spicy version of hoisin sauce. A couple of tablespoons of light soy sauce for saltiness, and then a teaspoon of sesame oil, and then just a pinch of salt and bring that to a boil. As I say, if you've got the chicken stock, this is so simple. I've got some spring onion here, and then just half a carrot. More for a bit of colour than anything. I've got Quite a bit of garlic here that I'm going to stir fry the chicken into as well. Fine slices of garlic will do. I'm going to put the garlic along with the spring onion at the top of my wok block. And then I've just got my chicken to slice up and marinate. So I've got chicken breast here. Slices of chicken breast. I mean one whole chicken breast for one bowl of noodle soup is probably too much to be honest. And as I said, the same sauces come into the chicken itself, so a little bit of light soy and sesame oil over the chicken for marinade. A little pinch of sugar. And then just get into that, massage that in. Get all the sauce and the sesame oil into the chicken, not sitting at the bottom of the bowl. I've got my gochujang and my chili flakes that are gonna go into the wok along with a little bit of the soup to cook it through. So from here, it is really simple. I've got my soup simmering away. I'm gonna blanch or pre-blanch my carrots in the soup for about a minute or so. Once the carrots have been blanched, then they'll go into the stir fry and then my rice vermicelli will go into the soup. So, wok on a high heat, get your oil to a nice smoking point. Once that's smoking hot, your spring onion and your garlic can go straight in. I mean, when we ordered 
this dish from on the bab, it was delivered to us. I know it's only around the corner, but we had it within about eight to 10 minutes from ordering. So everything would have been set up in the restaurant, just ready to heat up and cook through. Garlic, spring onion, and then your chicken. And whilst that chicken breast is searing, I'm gonna get a good sort of teaspoon of your Korean chili flakes over that chicken. My carrots, they've been in that soup for about a minute now. They can join the chicken. And then, see this is all simultaneous here. My rice vermicelli goes into that stock. Sometimes the simplicity is all you need. And I love this sort of setup where you've got one soup going, your chicken to finish it off. You're making this beautiful dish within minutes. Goju jang, another tablespoon. Stir fry that into the chicken. And then just take half a ladle of your soup and pour that around the edge of your wok. And it really doesn't need much more than that. Just cooking through those slices of chicken now. Those chicken slices are nice and thin, so after about a minute or so of cooking through, you can switch that off. All I've got to do is wait for these noodles to cook through. They take about sort of four or five minutes on the boil. So it's a little bit thicker than that Singapore vermicelli. Once they're boiled, we can serve up. So the noodles have taken a little bit longer than I first suggested. It's probably sort of eight to 10 minutes of cooking through these noodles. I'm serving these in a hot Korean stone bowl, which usually used for bibimbap, but it'll keep the stock on the soup really, really hot as well. I've had that in the oven at 200 degrees C for about 10 minutes. You can hear the heat of that bowl. Got your lovely chicken, which you can just pile up here. Your soup. Plenty of sliced nori over the top. And then we're just gonna Garnish that with a little extra sprinkling of chili flakes. Really simple, very quick, Korean spicy chicken noodle soup. So I've tried the on the bab takeaway already at the beginning of the video. Those lucky ones who get to the end of this video get to see me eating this. Mmm, deliciously spicy. That's what we're gonna call it. Even my cheek likes it. On the bab, super tasty. My one, just as tasty. It's no comparison. All it is, is to show you guys some support for the restaurant industry, but also how easy it is to make this sort of stuff at home too. Thanks again for all the support from our Patreon supporters. If you haven't looked at our Patreon channel yet, there's exclusive con content on the channel go to Patreon, look for School of Walk, you'll find it there. And loads of competitions too that you can win on a monthly basis. Thanks again. Don't forget, subscribe, notification bell, ding, woo! <laughs>